welcome to my channel I'm Yurani and this is my lifestyle vlog in this video I'm going to talk with you uh, about my um, experience studying illustration in Montreal Canada also I'm going to share some of my work I did during my classes I want to apologize if I make any grammar or pronunciation mistake because um, this is my first English uh, video in this channel and well to mention that I'm an illustrator student based in the Netherlands but actually I study in Montreal, Canada. I did two sessions uh, in class in Montreal and now I study online. Um, the program is actually called um, Illustration Publicitaire in, in French uh, which means advertising illustration and my college is called College Salet. It's located in Montreal, Canada. My study program is intensive. I go to class uh, four times a week, full time, and I need to dedicate uh, two times a week to uh, school projects. Therefore, my life is related with illustration, I think, and 90% of my time. In general, studying illustration helped me to understand what technical issues or problems I had and also how to improve my speed. I feel now that I can draw faster, that I'm more confident. Actually, drawing every day can help you improve a lot. In fact, I would like to share with you some of the projects I did in class. Actually, this was one of my favorites because I have a degree in communication and a master's degree in written journalism. So when I saw that the class was editorial illustration, I thought I would feel like fish in the water. <laughs> the idea was to create an illustration based on an article called Nourrir la pensée et la pensée, which means feeding the mind and the belly. And I actually want to show you two other projects I did. This was a hyper-realistic paint Although I'm not on that level yet, I did the most realistic I could and it's very vintage. I really love the palette of colors I use and the result. Well, on this project, we needed to draw a facade based on a song of our choice. I chose the second waltz of André Rieu, but well, he's actually not the compositor. It's uh, Dmitry uh, Shostakovich, Russian uh, compositor and Pianist. I decided to draw something that reflects the character of this composition and I hope uh, you like it. You guys need to let me know if I made the atmosphere happen through this facade. My experience studying illustration had also its negative side. I will say that some courses in my program were very unuseful like social media. Like if you know a little bit about YouTube, uh, Instagram, and what is Twitter? <laughs> and you don't need to learn that again, right? I also find unuseful the Wix website uh, because I think if you know a little bit about IT, um, the basic things, you know how to build a website in, a, in, a, in Wix or any, any platform that has already templates ready for you. I also find super unhandy the mural class because, well, it was summer, it was super hot. And we're supposed to paint a mural outside, but I ended uh, painting like a plant pot, I don't know how to say it, a wooden plant pot outside. Uh, in my knees in the <laughs> summer, the floor was hot, everything was really uncomfortable. And I understand that if you need to paint a, a mural, we need to sacrifice a little bit because maybe we like to do that in the future. We need to experience all type of illustration, but uh, this was not what I expected. But anyways, coming back to the positive side that I know there are many experiences that can be positive and negative. I think this has a balance. I think this has more positive than negative experience. Don't, don't <laughs> I'm talking French. And that's one of the positive things actually that my classes were in French and I could improve my French. I communicate with all the teachers and they were super kind in that sense if I didn't understand something because sometimes we needed to have classes like about software so it was like very heavy for me to understand 
French, you know, top of that, learn technical things. <laughs> Now I want to show you some of my traditional illustrations I did or I'm doing at the moment just to practice. They are not super fancy or anything like that um, because the important point here is to share with you what things I learned. I learned to use different mediums, I learned to use different techniques, softwares and type of illustrations. For example, during my courses I learned comics, I learned about medical illustration, about book covers, realistic animal illustration, and as I say before, editorial illustration and many, many other courses. So if you want to know more about them or you want me to give you a little workshop, I don't know, <laughs> you can write me and leave your comments in the box. Regarding the finances, I think that studying in Canada can be very expensive on the sense that uh, if we compare it to the Netherlands, as a Dutch citizen, this is my own experience only, uh, here it's quite cheap to study. It's actually super affordable and it still bothers me the prices in Canada, but I understand because if somebody comes from abroad to study here, it will cost them a lot. And also if this topic is super relative because it depends on your expectations and your goals. It will also depend if you are Canadian because, well, Canadians, of course, don't need to pay any visa process, any flight tickets, uh, uh, at least not so far. And um, maybe they can live with a family member, their parents, etc. To conclude this video, I can tell you that thanks to studying illustration, I have a better vision of what I want to do in the future, uh, what to expect. In the past, I always wanted to be a children's book illustrator and it's something that it really attracts me but it changed my vision according to the market of course and i understand better what are the possibilities out there of course i'm open to all opportunities doesn't mean i will close any door but uh, i know what style i want to develop now i know what mediums i like and what i'm good at so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a like and well leave any comments or any questions if you have any doubts about studying illustration and i will see you in the next video ciao ciao by the way here i have an illustration i'm working on at the moment it's work in progress um, i'm constantly updating my instagram account I will leave it in the box uh, below this video. So if you want to know more about my illustration, my projects or my art, uh, you can follow me.